So we've been involved in the Close the Gap project for the past year. Um, we've been linked with Barlaston Church um, and we've been swapping stories, visiting one another's churches. The folk from Bar Barlaston have been involved in collecting things for our drop-ins. I suppose naturally you tend to um, liaise with people who are very similar to you and doing the same sort of things. But actually what, one of the things we, we're realising more and more that there are people who are in a completely different context who actually want to get involved in what's happening in the city and want to do their bit in terms of supporting vulnerable people and people who are really facing destitution and very challenging circumstances. When we were approached about the Close the Gap initiative, you can imagine as a, I'm part-time, I'm 0.5 mm. vicar in Barlaston, busy parish, and I thought, oh no, one more thing, oh no. But actually I believe passionately in the idea of Christian communities knowing about one another, mm -hmm. connecting, networking, supporting one another in whatever ways they can. So I was really drawn to try to say yes and to draw one or two of our people in. My hope and prayer is that in Barlaston as a church community, we can listen and respond as we're able. But most important of all, I think, has been being here today and listening yeah. to the stories of people. And it's changed how we're going to respond, I think, in terms of perhaps making donations, but also it's changed how we're going to operate in our, on our own patch. Just thinking, there'll be needy people on our own patch. Their needs will be different from the people we've met today, but how can we simply open the doors and listen to their stories just as Sally and Vanessa and others here in the Hanley team opened the doors? Uh, just came and shared um, communion, morning communion here uh, with a very small group of people um, and just felt very much at home um, but also found myself sitting next to um, two people who actually were asylum seekers but I didn't know that. Um, and it was an incredibly moving experience as I um, kind of sat and I had no idea um, during the service that those people were, were I had, had those kind of stories really um, and it just encouraged me to pray for them and in fact I went back to church and um, spoke at our evening service because we're seven miles down the road um, in a leafy beautiful village for the drop-in that we run here and the way that other people are getting now involved and hearing these stories, you know, just today we've had people from a completely different context really, different sort of social um, setup, coming to listen to stories of women and men from Africa um, and not only the struggles that they've had to face in Africa and the countries that they've come from, but actually what they've then experienced when they get here. And so the story is not just a snapshot of someone's story, something that happened at a particular time, but it's a journey. I always think about the Emmaus Road and the disciples dejected, you know, they'd had devastating circumstances walking along the Emmaus Road and then the Lord himself came and joined them on the journey. And it feels like we as a church community here are on a journey. I'd like to thank Church of Christian Poverty for taking the initiative and I have to say that from being initially a little bit sceptical about am I going to get people on board, how's it going to happen, we're all too busy, we've all got too much to do, I'm really glad that there are a few people who've come and those few people will listen and that will change things, so I want to say thank you. I feel um, very encouraged and very peaceful about um, this particular um, initiative that I've been really lucky to be part of and feel really thankful that um, that God's brought me to this place. Get involved in your community, get to know the people in your community, talk to them, share your story, encourage them to share their story and as we listen to one another's stories and as we walk together a little bit this path, God will reveal to us actually where are the areas of need.